Today we're comparing the 18 watt power adapter that comes in the iPhone 11 Pro box against the USB-C 29 watt power adapter that you can purchase separately. So we're just going to plug in the 29 watt one first into the iPhone 11 Pro and we're going to start the stopwatch on the iPhone 7 on the left. Um, and we're going to come back and look at this at regular intervals. The iPhone 11 Pro is actually completely flat. So now we're approaching the 15 minute mark and I can see on the iPhone 11 Pro that we're about 28% charged. Okay, so now we're at 30 minutes. You can see that we're ticking over just to 53% and now at 50 minutes we're at 75%. Here we have the final time interval for the 29 watt power adapter, just on an hour and we're at 81%. It'd be very interesting to see how we go with the 18 watt power adapter that comes in the box with the iPhone 11 Pro. Just plugging it in now. Again, I've got a flat iPhone 11 Pro. Start the stopwatch, let's see how we go at the same. Looking at the 15 minute interval with the iPhone 11 Pro on the 18 watt power adapter it's at 27 percent which is the same as the 29 watt power adapter looking at it at 30 minutes now it's just approaching 51 percent to get to the same 53 percent charge with the 18 watt power adapter it's actually taken an extra minute and a half at 50 minutes we're at 74 percent which is identical to where we had the last power adapter Looking at one hour, the final time to measure, we're at 80%. So 80% versus 81, there you go, within seconds. Basically the same for both power adapters, the 18 watt and the 29 watt. It doesn't really matter which one you use with the iPhone 11 Pro, you're going to get to 80% after one hour. It's a big shock for me because I thought with USB-C, the more watts you had for the power adapter you were using, the faster it would charge. But clearly the 11 Pro tops out at 50% at 30 minutes and 80% at one hour. So pack the smaller charger, save some space and save some dollars. Thank you. If you like this video,